Hey fam, what's good? In this video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to get started with slap bass or thumping and plucking. Check it out. Cause just to show as the sun gives way to the moon Just to show as the gray gives way to the blue I'm gonna ride to the heavens child Inside my Welcome to the crib. If you're new to this channel, go on and hit that subscribe button. Give me a like if you like this content and hit that bell icon so you know when the next video comes out. I put out at least one video every week, but since the new year started, turns out I think I put out like three a week or something like that. Um, so I'm going to make this video short. And uh, this kind of is on the heels of a lesson I did with, uh, with one of my students out here in California last week. And we were talking about, you know, getting the slap thing together. And so I want to show you, just show you some, some ideas, some things to keep in mind. Let me fix the blinds. <laughs> it's kind of all over the place right now. So um, here's, a, here's the thing about thumping. Don't overcomplicate it. All right. Don't, don't. Uh, and don't put absolutes on yourself. So there's no like absolute one way to do anything. I think that's where we get into trouble with music. So um, let's look at a couple of different ways of like if you if you're back here, that's 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 something you find in like uh, you know you'll find Larry Graham does that type of thing. Um, the the Minneapolis guys a lot of time. That, that type of thing. But to get that really percussive uh, sound that I think a lot of people are looking for these days, um, that's, I shouldn't say that. I think when people think about slap, they, they think about more of a, a thing like, like that, right? So anyway, that's what I want to show you. So first off, it's more wrist than it is forearm. Like my student was, you know, really trying to use his whole arm and get get down in it like that. That's not really the thing. What you want to do, um, if you notice my wrist going like this, the string has to vibrate, right? So if if my if I just turn my wrist like this, kind of parallel. Now this is the way this is the way I've come up doing it. I've never. You know, I don't. I have no idea how guys thump with their thumb like that. That so I can only show you the way that I that I've come to do it. So, um, what's usually happen is that that knuckle from the knuckle up is is kind of the sweet spot, right? So. I'm not judging the sound or anything. I'm just. Get the sound. I gotta let the let the string vibrate. Also, you notice that I'm not recoiling. I'm not doing that. I mean, that's valid in some situations, but by and large, that's happening. So, one of the things you can do, um, you know, a common exercise or whatever is straight quarters. You get that string to vibrate, you're good. And then you do it on the A string. Not just touch the E string to keep it from ringing. Do the same thing on the D string. Now you can, you can do that on the G string also, but typically, um, typically, you know, people don't thump on the, on the G string. I'm saying typically, so I'm not saying that you can't do it. I'm saying typically that you, you know, people don't do that. So that's really the, the motion. So let me use, um, let's get a pluck in there. And I'll use uh, the groove from uh, Prince's uh, If I Was Your Girlfriend. And I'm going to go... Um, I'm thumping from A flat to B flat. 
and I can, you know, switch between, you know, between fingers and three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, and, right, just to get that motion, one, and two, three, four, now I'm going to add the next part, I'm going to add a pluck. So I'm, I'm plucking from uh, uh, E flat and F, like that. So. That's the whole, that's the whole groove of that chorus. But taking a real piece of music simple piece of music but gr that grooves hard um sort of turns it into the exercise you feel me so you're getting a hammer on you could even slap that going back to what i said before if you want to get comfortable with thumping on the g string you could do that too Now, another thing to keep in mind, um, why I'm not getting a lot of rattling and um, sympathetic vibration is notice that my, sh my hands are always close to the neck, all right? So, at least in this type of thing, the only two fingers that are working are my index finger and my pinky, and the other two fingers are just coming down on top. So there, by that motion, are muting the strings. Right there, my middle finger and my index finger and my pinky are all muting, muting the other strings. You dig? So try that out. If you have any questions about, um, about that, let me know. I did do a course. I put a link uh, below. It's it's an old course that I did on uh, Sound Slice that I'll link to in the comments below. But if you're brand new to the whole thumping thing, get this motion down. And it's not as hard as you think. But it's not your whole arm. It's your wrist. Alright? So try that on for size. Let me know how it works out for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Two fingers.